Today we are here to talk about the exciting opportunities in the field of health informatics, otherwise known as HI. You may be more familiar with the name medical records. In the past, medical records consisted of handwritten notes, x-ray, and laboratory reports, and other information, all documented on paper and put together into one file, which was then put into large rooms. Whenever the need arose to review the records of a specific patient, the patient's file would be retrieved from the filing room and delivered to the requesting physician or clinician. Today, the U.S. healthcare industry is trying to implement health information technology for all providers and related businesses. This requires a new workforce with specific training in health information technology. So, what specifically is health informatics? HI is the application of information processing involving both the computer hardware and software. It deals with the storage, retrieval, sharing, and use of healthcare information, data, and knowledge, including its communication and for decision making. Nothing in healthcare occurs without the information. For example, when we go to the doctor or the hospital, they take down certain information, such as height, weight, or blood pressure. This information often includes diagnoses of conditions we may have, as well as lab results and prescription medications. A term you might hear when people are talking about health informatics is the electronic health record, or EHR. The EHR is a real-time patient health record with access to tools that can be used to aid clinicians in decision-making using the most current knowledge available. The EHR can automate and streamline a clinician's workflow, ensuring that all clinical information is communicated when and where it is needed. So, where do health informatics employees work? They work in a variety of settings, including hospitals, ambulatory care clinics, private physician practices such as your doctor's office, skilled nursing facilities, and military MVA facilities. They also work for EHR vendors in which they help to develop, program, sell, and implement the various EHR products. Or they can work in higher education, meaning in universities and community colleges, as educators, researchers, and innovators of health informatics. What kinds of roles do health informatics workers fill? Again, many different ones. For example, at the entry level, one can choose to become an HIM clerk or medical records specialist, in which one primarily works with the patient records. Typically, the education level necessary for an entry-level role is a two-year or associate's degree. Or they can choose an intermediate role, including supervisor or manager, data analyst, or implementation specialist. A data analyst uses statistical techniques to rearrange health information into patterns and categories that can be useful for many different purposes. An implementation specialist is someone who installs hardware or software for the healthcare organization. Usually, in order to be in an intermediate role, you need a four-year or bachelor's degree and applicable work experience. There are even advanced career levels on the HI pathway. Some of these include a quality director who is responsible for ensuring the organization is meeting its patient care quality goals, or a chief information officer or CIO leading the IT investment and implementation strategies, or a chief knowledge officer, CKO, someone who is responsible for converting data into knowledge the organization can use. Someone at this level has a bachelor's or master's degree with lots of work experience. These people really are the experts. What kinds of skills do you need for these roles? There are different categories of necessary skills, such as technical, workplace, academic, and personal effectiveness skills. For example, a technical skill would be to have some knowledge of medical terminology to know the language of medicine and related words. 
Have you ever heard a doctor read your blood pressure? Usually they say something like 120 over 80, and you think, what does that mean? Learning medical terminology would help. It is important to keep health information private and secure. This requires the knowledge of the applicable laws and regulations. What about workplace skills? They are also necessary. Collaborating or being able to work with others is critical when you are assigned to a team and you need to finish the project together. Knowing what the different HI products do and how they can be used most effectively in a variety of settings is also vital for HIT workers. Academic skills are also important. You must be able to read and understand assignments, memos, and other deliverables given to you from your supervisors. You must also be able to write clearly and concisely, as well as think innovatively in order to produce results. Personal effectiveness skills are important. This means being able to work together as a team, effectively communicating, showing up to work on time, and proving you are dependable. And you must also be able to demonstrate adaptability during assignments or projects. So what type of education is available in Texas for health informatics? There are two Bachelors of Health Information Management degree programs available in Texas. One is available at Texas State University in San Marcos and the other at Texas Southern University in Houston. Both offer campus classes where the students enter as a junior having already completed their Texas required core classes. Texas State also offers its classes in an online format. The 4 plus 1 program is a dual program between UT Health and other four-year universities. It is open to students pursuing an undergraduate degree in biomedical sciences, biology, nursing, mathematics, and computer science. While enrolled, the 4 plus 1 program students will take five courses with the School of Biomedical Informatics that will constitute a graduate certificate in health informatics. At the conclusion of their undergraduate degree, students will have obtained both their bachelor's and the graduate certificate. Those students who wish to continue on to their master's degree will have only an additional year of classes instead of two years to complete a master's degree. The master's and doctoral degree programs are both available from the University of Texas Health Science Center School of Biomedical Informatics at Houston. We offer a Master's of Science in Health Informatics with a traditional and applied track and a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Health Informatics. For additional information regarding our academic programs, visit our website at sbmi.uth.edu slash apply now. It is safe to say that health informatics is an innovative field and there is a high demand for HI workers in the nation with up to 50,000 new jobs. A recent study estimated that Texas would need an additional 10,000 workers in health informatics. There are many opportunities out there. HI, or health informatics, is a fast-growing field with more jobs added than any other industry. From 2007 to 2011, health informatics jobs have grown faster than many other fields. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics is also predicting large growth in this field for the future. The need for health information technicians is expected to increase by 21 percent between 2010 and 2020 in response to increased demand for health care and increased use of technology in health care. Remember though, while training and education in health information technology is important, many employers are looking for that health care piece in health informatics. Although IT is an integral part of HI, HI is different than IT. In healthcare, the lives of the patients, you, me, and our families and friends are at stake. The technology implemented can change the way care is delivered to patients. Healthcare employers are going out of their way to hire health informatics professionals instead of IT professionals. All in all, there is a lot of opportunity for a career in health informatics. We hope to see you soon at the School of Biomedical Informatics.